In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a flesh tear of Space Marine. If this is your first time on the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified of all my latest videos. Let's get going with the much requested flesh tearers. So I built the model in terms of the parts I've used. It's a basic Primaris body and backpack. The massive chainsaw comes from the Assault Squad. The parts fit quite nicely onto the Primaris body. There's a little bit of jigger in, but it's fine. And I've sprayed it with Chaos Black Spray. I've taken some of Bad and Black, thinned down, and put that over the backpack and the shoulder pads and the kind of the, the hilt of the blade, because they're going to be the uh, as well as the blade itself because they're going to be black. I'm going to try something different with this model as soon as I finish painting it. I will pop it on eBay so if you want to own this Flesh Terror Sergeant you can get it on eBay. I'll pop a link in the description so watch the video first then check it out. And again I want to say a big thank you to everyone supporting the channel, all my subscribers, everyone who uses my affiliate links in the description. It does really help. So let's get going then. The first colour we're going to use is Corn Red and we're just going to paint this over all the armour panels that we want to be red. So you can see there, it's quite thin. I've not put too much water in it, but it is going over a black uh, undercoat, so it will take two coats. So work your way around the model. Take your time. You can leave the black lining if you want, but I'm just going to paint over this quite quickly because I think it's, it's easy enough to go back in and re-establish some of the black lining later so move your brush quite quickly over the model so I'll go away I'll finish the rest of this red base coat off cam now if you've got an airbrush and I'll put a link in the description to the one I use uh, I it's, it's really cheap but I've had it for over 10 years and it it really just really good for just base coating it will be a lot easier to use an airbrush to, for this base coating step. So I'm going to go away and finish the rest of the armour. Like I said, it's probably going to take two coats. And we'll come back and we'll have a look at putting some of that black lining back in. So a couple of coats of the corn red. And we've got a really nice base coat. So you can see the shoulder pads, the Aquila, the backpack. And the chain so we've left black so I just want to line this armor in a little bit now so we can take some null oil we're just gonna paint this into all the gaps and all the lines make sure that you haven't got too much on your brush and you can afford to be or I'm going to be quite untidy with this because I just want to get it in really quickly because what I can then do is I can take that corn red and just touch it up but it'll give me a little depth to the armor which is really nice when I do it that way because it just gives you that little bit extra shadow to kind of play with on, on, on what you know Space Marine armor so it's it's quite useful so work your way around the model if you want you can do this with um, something like a bad and black or ink by darkness but I'm just gonna use the null oil because I want it just quick and dirty and then I'm going to go back in after that and I'm just going to touch it up with the corn red just to get the, the nice crisp lines back. So I'm going to work my way around the entire model and when we come back we'll have a look at some of the silver and gold elements on the model. So you see with that null oil and then the corn red uh, touch ups just gives you some additional shadow um, and differentiation which I think looks really nice. So I'm going to paint the leather packs and everything now. So I'm going to, the base colour I'm going to use for that is Dryad Bark. This is really easy. Just want to base over the black. One coat should be enough. Um, I've not really watered the Dryad Bark down a huge amount because I don't think there's need to. So just work that onto all the leather packs. Make sure you've got all the coverage you want. I put a combat knife on as well. So I'm going to paint the 
main part of this with the drive bar. Once you, once that's dry, we'll come back, we'll highlight it. Don't forget the belt as well. Um, so there we are, work your way around, we'll come back and we'll get that highlighted. Once the dried bark has dried, just take some Gothor Brown. You don't want too much and just, just kind of follow the, the shape of the model just to get a bit of a highlight on there. You might want to just pop some thin lines. Again, just following the shape of the model. So do this on all the bits of leather that you've got on there. And then we come back, we'll start to crack on with some of these metallics. So there we go, that's looking pretty good now for the leather. Let's move on to the silver metallics. So the silver metallics base, I'm going to use iron hand steel. Now if you haven't got iron hand steel, you can use lead belcher. Uh, it works just as well. I just think that the iron hand steel is a little brighter and covers a, a little better as well. So we're going to get all the metallics. So we've got the vents on the back of the backpack. So I'm just going to work around quickly to show you what I'm actually painting in silver. You've got the handle on the bolt pistol just there. And then we've got the chain sword. So we've got the handle guard there. So again, be careful not to put too much paint on. So we've got the handle guard and we've got the, the kind of the motor here or the exhaust of the chain sword. Of course, if you're painting other flesh terrors that have got bolt weapons, then you may not have the chainsaw itself. Don't worry about that little mistake that I've just made there because we're going to go back in and, and tidy everything up with black before we kind of do the, the black highlighting. So work your way around all the bits that you want to be silver and we'll come back and we'll wash and we'll highlight it. Really simple way to shade all those metallics once you've finished them is just take some null oil I'm just going to run that over all of them. Take your time so you don't put so much on that it pools. Um, but this is a really easy step. So I'm just going to finish this off and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at highlighting it all. Highlighting the silver metallics is pretty straightforward as well. So just take some chrome from Vallejo Model A. It's a really good colour for highlighting and all we're going to do is just going to use the side of the brush and use the shape of the model to get some nice crisp highlights. So take your time doing this, work your way around all the bits of silver that you want to highlight all the time as far as you can just using the edge of the model. Uh, once we've got this done across the rest of it we'll come back and we'll have a little look at the gold next. For the teeth just gonna paint down just catching the edge it gives you that nice shine. So we are finish off any other silver highlight in and we'll do the gold next. For the gold We'll base it with Retributor Armour. So you don't want too much on your brush for this. Now we are going straight over a black undercoat. So we may need two coats of this. The key is not to throw it on too thick so that we lose the detail. And don't worry if you go on to the black underneath like I have there. Because what I'll do before we highlight the black is we'll just go in and we'll tidy it all up. Um, so any mistakes that we've made we can just we can just top up. So on this particular model I've got this little bit here on the shoulder blade. Again I'm just taking my time. I'll go back and do this the second coat off camera and then we've just got the scabbard for the combat knife as well. So I'm going to let all this dry. I'm going to go back into a second coat and then we'll come back and we will highlight it all up as well.
shading the gold again really really simple just take some right on flesh shade and just pop it over all the gold that you've painted this is kind of a it's a ready color which is you know it's fine for what we want work it over and then we'll let that dry and give it a quick highlight as well and we can move on to the black armor once that Reichland flesh shade is dry I'm just going to highlight with some liberator gold very similar to the way we did the chrome highlight on the silver I'm just going to use the shape of the model to get most of our highlights on So work your way round. On the skull, it's going to take a little bit on the top there. You can see it. Don't put too much on. It blends in really nicely like that. So we'll do the black armor next. So what I'd say is go away, get some of bad and black, and just touch up any black that you may have gone over with the other colors. Uh, get some nice consistency, and we'll come back and look at highlighting it. So once we've touched up the black, we're going to get going with highlighting the armor. So the color I'm going to use for this is Mechanica Standard Grey. And again, as with any highlighting, make it easy for yourself. Use the shape of the model to just get it nice and crisp. Now, don't worry too much if you get it on some of the red or if you let's just lose control of the model. Or if you go a little bit wobbly, because you can always go back and touch it up later. The important thing is to just get it on there. So we've got the chainsaw here. So this is a nice, easy highlight to do. And then we can work it onto the other side as well. Sorry, I've just got my brush a bit too wet, so I just need to take some of that moisture off. So you can just work it up the edge of the, the chainsaw there. the gap in there and across the top so work your way around all the black parts get that highlight in there and then we'll come back and we'll do the red armor and I think the flesh terror is pretty much done I'm not gonna base him because like I said I'm gonna pop him on eBay so the winning bidder can then base him to match the rest of their army so finish off the black highlighting we'll come back and get the red done so the first red highlight I'm going to do is with Wazdaka Red. Now again, we're just going to use the shape of the model where we can to get a decent highlight. Now the, the Wazdaka Red, don't worry about it being the thinnest highlight in the world. A couple of reasons. One is we want it a little bit thicker so that when we do the final highlight, we've just got that extra little bit of volume. And also, if we do it too thick and it looks awful, then all we'll do is we'll just take some corn red and tidy that up. So just work your way around all of the red armor panels with the Wazdaka red. Take your time. Enjoy this process because this is where the whole kind of thing comes together and we start to get a really good looking flesh terror. You know, for your rank and file, you might think one highlight is enough, and for your HQ models, you may choose to do another highlight. It's really up to you. So, I'm going to finish the rest of this highlighting off cam, and then when we come back, we'll do the final highlight, and the flesh terror will be done. So the last highlight we're going to do on the red armor is with squig orange and again we're just going to follow the design where we can now we want this squig orange highlight to be a lot thinner than the wasdaka red one underneath so you just want to take a little bit more time with the squig orange. See there I've gone over a little bit so I'll just tidy that up with some corn red. There's no major great shakes for that. So take your time, work your way around. So you're just kind of going over 
the bits you've already done just sharpening that highlight and here for example you don't want to go over the whole thing just maybe just keep it towards the middle and the sharpest uh, edges that you want to get the highlight on so work your way around the rest of the model and once you've got enough squig orange down and you're happy with how it's looking this flesh tear is complete so there we have it this flesh terror is ready for battle like i said this is going on ebay so please check the link in the description if you want to bid on the model thanks again for watching i really hope you've enjoyed if you have please leave a like and a comment down below and if you do want to support the channel then you can do so using some of the affiliate links in the description it won't cost you anything extra but it does give me a little bit it really helps me keep buying the models and the paints i need for the channel thanks again for watching i'll see you next time